Hello everybody. Now we will be studying about the controlled half wave rectification and full wave rectification using RC triggering circuit for an SCR. Basically an SCR can be triggered uh, directly by giving anode to cathode voltage or by giving gate current or by giving uh, by light triggering or by dv by dt that is if you are giving a voltage it is called dv by dt triggering in this method here we are giving the gate current and triggering the scr that is gate triggering we are uh, uh, going for the gate triggering of an scr under gate triggering there is dc triggering ac triggering and pulse to triggering using rc combination and giving an ac input we are going for the ac gate triggering method the circuit is has shown in the figure this is the circuit we see this is the r and c component that we are using to trigger this scr tyn604 as during the positive half of the uh, input this scr will be forward by us during the positive half this scr will be forward by us and this diode is also forward by us therefore current will be flowing in this path and charging the capacitor once the capacitor voltage is reached it has reached vg minimum and minimum ig current will flow through the gate and will trigger the scr and once the scr is triggered the current will flow in this path and there is output i seen across the load initially when the scr is not triggered it will act as a open switch so whatever input voltage you give will see it will appear across the scr and no voltage will appear across the load and once the uh, capacitor voltage has reached vg minimum there is an ig minimum which will flow it will discharge to this path and there is a ig minimum which will flow through the gate and scr is turned on now depending upon the r value that is if r is more the capacity time taken to charge this capacitor will be more therefore the firing angle the time taken to turn on the scr that is the firing angle will be more and it will take more time to turn on the voltage that will be going to the load will be less if r value is less capacitor will get charged tau value that is the rc value will be less capacitor will get charged quickly and the scr will also turn on quickly the voltage the average voltage that will be coming to the load will be more so there by using an rc combination we can vary the firing angle we can vary the time taken by the scr to turn on thereby we can control the output voltage that will be going to the load as well in this we will be seeing how using an rc we are varying the firing angle the circuit is rigged up as shown in the figure and this is the pot this is the 1k pot we are using here this pot this is the output voltage across the load as we are varying the pot we see the firing angle this is called this is the this is the waveform this is the output voltage across the load here this one we see alpha this is alpha the blank space is the alpha here it keeps varying as i am varying the pot as i am varying the pot see now the firing angle is more the blank space is more here the voltage is around 5.4 if the blank space that is the firing angle is less the voltage will be more so the voltage is inversely proportional to alpha and the alpha depends upon the value of r and c if r and value of r and c is more alpha will be more this is half wave rectification only because we have used only one diode here it is only half rectified output during the negative half the scr is again reversed by us and it is switched off this is the output see this is the output voltage across the load if you want to see the output voltage across the scr this is the output voltage across the scr see during this time what spike you get here in the positive half during this time the scr is still not turned on so you can see the input voltage appearing here later on after this instant the minimum ig will go into the gate input and trigger the scr turn on the scr at that instant the voltage across the scr will be zero this part of whatever you see this voltage will appear across the load this remaining half will appear across the load again during the negative half the scr is reversed by us it is turned off it is acting as a open switch so whatever input you see will appear across the scr 
Again during the positive half, the capacitor is getting charged during this time. The SCR is not turned on. So the inputs, a part, pa partial input is seen. Again at this instant, at some instant when the SCR is on, it will become zero. And the remaining half of the input after the SCR is turned on will be seen across the load. This is only half rectification. If you want to have full rectification, we have to connect a bridge diode, a bridge connection diode has to be connected in the bridge and we can get the full wave output uh, waveform also. You, in this also, we using this two R and C, that is RC, we are going to control the gate current, thereby control the turn on time of the SCR and thereby the output voltage that will be coming to the load. Thank you.